Welcome back to DXV Today, talking all things tech, all things Jitex. And right now, we can talk to a CEO and founder of Renegade. We're talking to Daniel A. Strele Ramones. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. First off, can you tell us, who might not know, what is Renegade exactly? Okay, at Renegade, we're trying to um, connect traditional finance with the crypto space. And it's still the entry barrier to crypto is still pretty hard and we're trying to solve this or we are about to solve it already. Okay, how are you going to solve it? So at Renegade, you will um, supply you with an IBAN account, you will get a Visa card and we will connect it directly to crypto, uh, cryptocurrencies. So you have everything in one app and you only need to know um, banking, like, you know, everybody knows um, online banking. And once you're able to do that, you'll be able to buy cryptos. You can spend it in your daily life because it's connected to your Visa card. In the app, you can define where do you, I want to, where should they, you know, we, like as Renegade, take the money from when you pay. It can be dollars, it can be euros, but it can be cryptos as well. So you just go, you pay, and it will take it from your crypto wallet if that's what you wish. Wow, Daniel, coming from the banking sector myself, yeah. Is there, do you believe there is a disconnect? Because I believe from the, we are scared of people like you. Right. Um, and we're scared of what you bring in stealing our business and all of that stuff. I say we as in the whole right. banking sector. Um, but what do you believe is the disconnect? Well, yeah, you're right. And, and you just said it, like that's like traditional finance. They're afraid that um, the business is gonna be taken away from them. Yeah. I mean, this is the promise of blockchain. Um, technology and that's their, their slogan, be your own bank, cut the middleman, <laughs> it's peer-to-peer, -peer, you don't need the banks anymore. Obviously, I think it's not true because um, people are not made for that. People are not made for having that responsibility. A lot of people don't even want to have it. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they, they want to have someone, they want to have a middleman to go to if they have a problem, if they lock themselves out of their wallet. They want to have someone where they can go to and say, look, I lost my, in the spa crypto space, my seed phrases. I need access to my wallet. They want to have that. So it's a misbelief in the traditional finance um, that it's gonna, you know, make them obsolete or whatever. I, I think it's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And once traditional finance comes to a realization that it's good to work together with, you know, blockchain technology integrated in your own business model. Um, I think that's going to be a massive step. And we, it's a transform, it's a transform, uh, it's a transform, transformation. Mm -hmm. um, traditional finance is going to transform uh, into a new sort of finance. It's not going to be fully decentralized. I agree. And they have to, and they, you know, it has to be a collaboration. Couldn't agree more. Yes. Yeah. So how do you see the adoption in Dubai for blockchain and uh, cryptocurrency? I think it's very high. I mean, Dubai itself is a very future-oriented um, country or like a, a city. And um, I, yeah, that's, it's a really great place to, um, to start or to you know, open a branch. In our case, we open a branch in Dubai. And um, it's a very good place to start your crypto business, I would say. And people are very open-minded. There's not this fear of technology, which um, like I'm from Europe. A lot of people have that. They're like scared of, oh my God, something new. I don't like, you know, I don't like now, it. Daniel, I'm, I'm interested because you, I know that a big thing about crypto, the reason a lot of people like it, and it's not always for bad reasons, they like the fact that it's not traceable. If it's part of an app like yours, does that then make it traceable? Well, that's a very, very big misbelief. It is okay. very traceable, actually. Um, we ourselves use a tool, it's called Channelysis. Um, most law enfor enforcement uh, on the world is um, using, are using Chainalysis. So for, let's say for police, it's actually a dream scenario if you use um, cryptos, because you can trace it. and. At some point, you have an off-ramp to fiat, like let's say US dollars or whatever, because you want to spend it somewhere. Maybe you're gonna buy a, an expensive car. And then that's the, the, way, the, the point where you're gonna be pinpointed as an individual. So until then, you can trace it. And if you see the tool, chain analysis, it's really good. You, they will just, you know, you see all the transaction history. So this is actually crazy. Um, cryptocurrencies are not an anonymous, they're pseudonym pseudonymous, so you have a wallet, but you don't know who's behind the wallet. One of the reasons we're having this conversation today is, of course, there's a small show going on outside called Jitex, um, <laughs> attracting tens of thousands of people, including, of course, Renegade, who are here right. uh, as part of that one. Why is Jitex so important to a brand like Renegade? 
it's a it's a great place for us to showcase our product, to to network, to to meet like-minded people, and that's the reason why we're here as well. And is it essential to bring a new product to show? Do you use it as a platform to launch something new? Oh yeah, definitely. I would say so. That's you know that's one of the big tech shows in the world. Mm. So literally all the tech world seems to be here in Dubai right now, and and. Um, we're happy to be here. We're happy to to meet people. I'm happy to be on this show. Like that's you know was a great opportunity as well for us. So that's you know the impact Chitex has on the city. So what do you? So if we come down to Chitex, um, got coffee on the stand? Got any sweets to give away or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, t-shirts and, 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 <laughs> and stuff like the, the usual merch. Swag, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, swag like mugs, <laughs> mugs, some bitcoins. <laughs> I've seen the Renegade t-shirts; they're very cool actually. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we'll see if we can't get our hands on those. Yeah, yeah. Listen, bless you. Thanks so much indeed. Okay, uh, all the best you. for Jai Tech. Yeah. I know it's going to be a busy one for you. It has been throughout the week already, but <laughs> yeah. all the best for the week as well. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, one of the biggest events of the year, yep, we've been talking about it all evening, Jitex Global is here to elevate business and innovation, uh, intersecting technology and possibility. Uh, we sent Ahmed down to check it all out for us. JITEX Global is the world's largest and most inclusive tech event where governments and global organizations are here to showcase the new products, services and experiences. I am here with uh, Manuel Rodriguez from Schneider Electric Gulf. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. So the first thing that gets on Google, because I went on Google and I googled Electricity 4.0 and the first couple of links that come up is Schneider Electric. So can you please tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so when we talk about uh, Electricity 4.0, I mean, what we're really talking about is the electrification of everything. And when you think about uh, today's world, and we're in a year of COP28, I mean, honestly, you can't uh, be in a better moment uh, at Jitex than uh, the year of COP28, when everything is around sustainability and how to achieve sustainability on organizations across multiple sectors. Really, you have to talk about both digital plus electrification to achieve that sustainability effort for any organization. May is a digital assistant for government services that will allow uh, any consumer to ask for services. She will do the service on his behalf and she will connect him also to other services using AI. Coming to the AI Film Festival, uh, obviously it's very topical and uh, uh, looking at our uh, initiatives uh, in AI, uh, we uh, sort of uh, embarked on a new AI Film Festival, first in the region, uh, where we actually celebrate the creatives uh, and the uh, sort of the content creators and the amateurs in the film industry rather than the AI itself. So we, we see the AI as the, a tool to promote and enhance the content of creators. As you have seen, this has just been a glimpse of what Jitex is all about. Most of the companies have integrated AI into their services and their products. The future of technology seems promising. Thanks for that one, Ahmed. Now, our guest co-host, Divsha, has been with us for the whole show, but we haven't got to know enough about you. So, Dua, I think it's time. Yep, it's time for DXB in 60. So, Divsha, we've got a couple of questions. You need to answer as many as possible within 60 seconds. Are okay. you ready? Yes. Okay, let's cue the clock in three, two, one. So, if you are not a tech editor at GBAI, what would you be? A journalist, of course. <laughs> Your prized possession. My car. What is a <laughs> hidden gem that you love in Dubai? Mm. Burj Khalifa. Amazing. Hidden gem, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? Who or what is your inspiration? Uh, my mom. Ah. Your favorite tech gadget? My smartphone. Your motto in life and in work? Be honest. That's a good one. A topic you could go on about? Artificial intelligence and cyber security. Oh, right here with you. <laughs> Top series you've watched this summer? I didn't find the time. <laughs> <laughs> a book you're reading at the moment? I don't find the time. <laughs> so is that the same for a podcast then? 
Um, kind of. Okay. <laughs> if you could hang with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? My kids. Oh, lovely. Well, Divsha, thank you very much. Thank you. Divsha, thanks for being our guest co-host today. Big thanks to all of our uh, guests throughout the show. Don't go anywhere. We're bringing you a sneak peek of the hit band performing tonight at DXB. Take a look. We are called For the Music. We are super excited to perform on DXB today. The next song we're going to perform is an original composition called Never Stop Loving You. Stay tuned.